Hello, Krusty783 here, and welcome to another Q&A. Before we start today's Q&A, I wanted to say something. Today is 28th of October 2021. One year ago today, I released Ninjago Awakenings one year later, which was my first video on this channel. It's incredible to me how I've already been running this channel for a year. It does not feel like it's been this long. Thank you all for your support on my videos, and hopefully here's to many more years of content on this channel. I do not plan on stopping anytime soon. Okay, so that being said, let's get on with the Q&A. Some of the questions are going to be non-year anniversary related, others will be, so we'll just go through them as they come. So the first question comes in from Burnished Abbey, who asks, How has the channel impacted your life? I make way more content now, was just the obvious thing, but I guess when I watch or play stuff, part of me kind of views it as like a content angle as well, like, oh, can I make a video about this? Like, say when I watched Shang-Chi, I thought, now, could I turn this into a review? I ended up deciding on not doing that because I don't care that much for the movie to make a review of it. Good movie, though. But yeah, no, this part of me just wants to make as much stuff as I can nowadays. And when I see something, I'll just think in the back of my head, now, can this work as a video? And when I don't put stuff out for an extended amount of time, it kind of just feels unproductive. Plus, having an outlet to get all my thoughts and opinions out there and make wacky, stupid videos with my friends is pretty awesome. Our next question comes in from Valia, who asks, Donda or Certified Lover Boy? Donda, easily, no competition. Our next question comes in from Sefi Meister who asks, what's your favorite part about making videos? Easily the finished product. Just watching it over and at least for videos I like anyway, there's a few that I didn't like after finishing them and just never upload them and probably never will. But watching the finished product and just thinking, wow, this is actually pretty good, is really satisfying to me. Though sometimes I'll watch the finished product and think, I don't know if this is really good, I don't know if I like it, and then putting it out anyway to see what people think, and then the reception being pretty positive. So I'm also just pretty critical sometimes. But yeah, just watching the finished product and being satisfied with it is easily my favorite part of making content. This question comes in from Cube who asks, would you ever consider doing a Bojack Horseman or Pan's Labyrinth video since those are my favorite movies or shows respectively? And my answer to this is it took me about a year to articulate exactly why I don't like Age of Calamity. So I have no idea how long it's going to take for me to articulate why I love my favorite media of all time. So maybe, but probably not for a long time. I don't really have any plans for that at the minute, but who knows, at some point maybe. The only other thing is that Bojack Horseman especially has been absolutely talked to death on YouTube by people who are way better at this than I am at the minute. So there's also that to think about. But maybe at some point I'll talk about Bojack, but I don't know, talking about Bojack is a tall order. Skylanders fan 69 asks, thoughts on Majora's Mask? Incredible game, I've loved it since I picked it up when I was 10 years old, part of the reason why I love the N64 so much. We got a question from Jace, I don't know how to pronounce that second word in your name, I gotta be honest dude. Jace asks, carpeted or hardwood floors? Just behind which Lego character would you have sex with? This is the weirdest question I got. But definitely carpeted, I like the soft feel of carpeted floors. Contrary to what you said, you actually can roll stuff along carpeted floors. My main chair has like wheels on it, which I can run along my carpeted room floor, so I don't know where you got that from. I think this might be down to the thickness of the carpet in question though. But yeah, it feels nicer to sit down on. Hardwood floors get kind of like cold in like colder times like the winter and that, whereas carpeted floors, while they're not warm in the winter, they're definitely not like cold to touch. So yeah, I prefer carpeted floors, but that being said, I don't mind hardwood floors. Brickmaster asks, if I could be the head writer of Ninjago, what would I do? Post Ice Chapter Ice Emperor plot. Next question. Here's a question from Elemental Jedi. Why is Prime Empire your favorite Ninjago season with absolutely no contenders? See, I really love how Prime Empire in a serialized show just decides to not advance the plot at all. I think that was really genius. In a serialized show where you need to have every single piece of the plot be important, having one that does absolutely nothing for the story overall to the point where a 44 minute special has to Frankenstein impact in a year later, I think it's just complete genius. Incredible season. Masterful work. I love how Unagami is completely inconsistent. Absolutely chef's kiss. 10 out of 10 masterpiece. Nora asks, why are you crusty? Krusty is my real life nickname in my friend group. So when it came time to name my channel, I just thought, hmm, you know what, let's just use that. As for the 783, it's literally just the first set of numbers I thought of that thought, oh, that sounded good. Then I looked up Krusty 783, saw no one had the name, and then yeah, the rest is history. My next question comes in from Melanie, who asks what my favorite slash least favorite first party Nintendo game is. Okay, my favorite Breath of the Wild, my least favorite, probably Age of Calamity. Could Age of Calamity even be considered first party given how it's developed by Koei Tecmo? You know what, I don't care, I'm just gonna say Age of Calamity anyway. Feel free to burn me at the stake in the comments for that one. 
We got another question from Skylanders fan 69 here who asks, if there's one thing you could go back in time and give advice to your past self about making videos about, what would it be? Okay, easily, no question, and this applies to anyone looking to make content. Ditch Windows Movie Maker as soon as you can. That software is absolutely terrible. It's good for being a beginner, it's good for learning the ropes, but don't stick to it. Jump to another software as quickly as you can. I'd recommend Sony Vegas. I don't, I don't know any other editors. I use Sony Vegas 14. Just ditch Movie Maker as fast as you possibly can. Your content will get a lot better as soon as you ditch it. Yeah, that's the end of this Q&A. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you want to see more Q&As, be sure to leave some questions in the comment section. I'll get to them in another Q&A eventually. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel for the past year. I really appreciate it. Here's to more years of content, hopefully. Join the Discord server if you haven't. The link is in the description below. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.